Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I have recorded a video, so I thought of doing it right now. What time is it? 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> so today we will talk about MLX Swift. It is a framework for working on machine learning on let's say your iPhone and your Mac. And it is for Swift languages and the team has worked very hard to create a package called as MLX Swift examples and as the name suggests it gives you a lot of examples to work with and they have uh, many packages that you can directly use in your app itself so the idea for today is that how can we easily get uh, this working on or in our app itself so I will just gr briefly open the project and tell you what all you need to do so the project itself has many packages uh, or the libraries so the one that you would need is the MLX LLM package this one and then the MLX LM common package this is for text generation if you want to work with image input then you will use MLX VLM package so that's the first thing second is that they have uh, LM uh, LLM eval application as well as a vlm eval application or what you prefer in this one we'll only talk about the text generation so in the app itself we have a very simple content view as well as a evaluator so i will just focus on the evaluator the main idea is that you use the evaluator class with a method to generate it the first thing is to load the model itself so it can download it and the second is generating for a particular prompt and then you can display it so these are the two things that you want so let's go through them one by one first is loading the model you set uh, the model configuration for the model configuration we are using uh, by default a quen model I think it's a 1.5 billion model I think let's say where is it now uh, this one so they have some pre-registered models that you can use directly in your app so you do not have to do anything on your end and the second part is just copy this code to just load the model it will give you the downloading value and then you can show it in the view even it is done in the app itself so it's better to just use it as a template second is generating uh, for a given prompt first you load the model itself and then you perform uh, by providing it the role and the the user and the system role so you start with your helpful assistant a very basic one and the prompt that you have and then you generate it for the given parameters and uh, when we get the tokens for it and then we decode the tokens to show the text and we can have a max token limit which is i think in this example is 240 and otherwise so this is kind of uh, streaming the results otherwise you can also get the result as a whole thing in the end via uh, by uh, outside of the closure itself and then we can have the stats on how many tokens it took per second so I will just run the app and show you. So this is all you need to do for running your app on device. That's like the basic step. So we have the model downloaded already. And the prompt that we are going to use is what is the meaning of life? It's a very common question that everybody is somehow searching for. Uh, it says key not found. Okay, I know what's wrong so it's an ongoing issue right now so we will use some other model in the meanwhile so we will prefer to use the llama model instead this is the best part of working with mlx swift examples because the community has already tested these models and usually whenever a new model is released you will most likely find it on the mlx community on hugging face uh, oops where's the app it's running okay so now you can see that it says downloading the mlx model 40 percent 41 percent it is a 1 billion instruct model i think i'm not sure but it should be less than 1 gb and while it is uh, downloading i will just show you more on the project itself on what you can do so in the content view uh, 
there is a uh, tool calling which is something i would not cover in this video that's a separate video in itself and what else should you know i think just kind of using this as a template is what you need to have on device generation you provided the temp uh, the prompt uh, given your own system prompt and get the value back and it, that's it so we have the model loaded uh, and i will ask the same question what is the meaning of life and starts the generation process and it says that one of the most profound questions of all time blah 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 there's no definite answer and it asks me instead like what do you think what gives your life meaning and purpose which is something i have been thinking about as well but for now this is how you will add uh, mlx swift to your app i hope this video is useful and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment like comment down below uh, have a great day